Men with non-metastatic prostate cancer are commonly treated with androgen deprivation therapy, or ADT, for various reasons, including biochemical relapse after primary therapy. Duration of response, including time to progression with ADT, typically ranges between 2 and 10 years. Thus, many prostate cancers ultimately become resistant to ADT and continue to grow. This is referred to as castrate-resistant prostate cancer. Over 80% of men with castrate-resistant prostate cancer will eventually develop bone metastases. These can lead to important clinical consequences, such as bone pain, functional impairment, and increased mortality. In men with castrate-resistant prostate cancer, predictors of bone metastases include high absolute PSA levels, rapid increases in PSA levels, or short PSA doubling time. Currently, there are no FDA-approved treatments to delay the time to develop bone metastases. Thus, prevention of bone metastases for men with castrate-resistant prostate cancer represents an area of unmet medical need. Bone is a particularly fertile site for the development of metastases. As first described by Stephen Paget in his Seed and Soil Hypothesis, multiple factors influence interactions between the tumor cells, the seed, and the bone microenvironment, the soil, to promote the development of bone metastases. Prostate cancer cells shed from the primary tumor enter the circulation and release growth factors, cytokines, and other proteins which promote adhesion and proliferation to the bone. Circulating prostate cancer cells initially adhere to cells lining blood vessels in bone marrow, following which these tumor cells are actively recruited to the bone microenvironment by multiple factors where the cells preferentially adhere to areas of increased bone turnover. Furthermore, interactions between tumor cells and the bone microenvironment foster the development of bone metastases. These interactions ultimately result in excessive osteoclast and osteoblast activity, which in turn releases multiple factors that may further stimulate tumor growth and bone destruction. Additionally, ADT increases bone resorption and subsequently releases multiple factors in the bone microenvironment. This may create more fertile conditions for the development of bone metastases.